Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee end of course practice test number three for Algebra 1, question number 38. Uh, which number best completes the equation below? It's This is a conversion. They want to go from 35 square inches to some number of square centimeters. The first thing in my head that I need to do is figure out what the conversion is. So I'm going to use the formulas page because, I mean, they give it to you, so why not? So I'm going to go to where the formulas page is in the bottom right corner of that formulas page. Many of you have never even seen this before, and you're like, this is magical. Um, they have some bit of information about inches and centimeters. It says one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So for me, I'm going to write that down, and I'm definitely going to write it down in uh, sort of a setup that sets it up as a ratio. That's a fraction for those of you scoring at home. So one inch is 2.54 centimeters. This will come in super handy at one point, and uh, that point is right now. Let's go back to the original problem. Otherwise, I have to remember it, and you're right. Even I'm not that delusional. So here we go. I'm dealing with 35 square inches. So what I'm going to do is set up uh, sort of a, a bit of a conversion. Visually, I tend to put the initial information as a fraction. So I want to do 35 inches over 1. And if this was uh, sort of a multi-tiered conversion where I had miles per hour, I'd put miles on top and one hour on the bottom. This will make it easier to cancel things out. What I'm going to do is now use my conversion factor. And there's two ways I could write that conversion factor, even though th I realize now how much this looks like the word lin. Um, I could do it like with lin on top, or I could do it with lin on the bottom. I'm going to make the decision about which of these I'm going to choose based on which uh, original unit I want to eliminate. Well, I want to eliminate inches. And I know visually that to me this sort of setup means 4 times 3 is 12 divided by 3 is of course 4 but I also know if something's on the top and the bottom of this kind of fraction you can just mark them out and I'm left with a 4 well what I want to do here is mark something out and be left with centimeters that's my goal so I'm going to choose a conversion factor that will put inches on the bottom which is this one why wouldn't I circle the one I would use I don't know so we'll just do that anyway and I'll try not to think too deeply about it 1 inch over 2.54 centimeters. Now, as you can see, the inches on the bottom and the inches on the top. Unfortunately, the question isn't asking me just about inches. It's asking me about square inches. So I need to make a little bit of an adjustment. Anytime you have square units, or in fact, if you have uh, cubic units as well, you need to use that operation on the conversion factor itself. Not on the 35. I want to square this conversion. So I'm going to go over and do 35 inches and then I want to do 2.54 squared and shockingly I'm gonna maybe break your heart and tell you I'm gonna use a calculator to do that because I don't know it off the top of my head um, 6.4516 more or less you could probably get away with putting less things there one squared I do know in my head that would be one and now I'm my units are in inches squared and centimeters squared and that's a good thing so these will cancel still uh, what I have to do now is just end up doing the multiplication. So I do 6.4516 times 35, and I end up somewhere in the general vicinity of 225.8 centimeters squared. So when you have this, which is D in case you didn't notice, so when you have this type of question, make sure that you take the conversion factor itself, try to set it up so you can knock out the unit that you don't want and keep only the stuff that you do, and if it's squared, you need to square the conversion factor itself, and if it's cubed, which, you know, that's to the third power, you want to raise it to the third power, that way you can knock out what you don't want, keep what you do, and everybody's happy. So, that's it.